Like any major cities in the world, cities in Southeast Asia also suffer traffic congestion in city center. In battling the congestion, the government on each country build numerous infrastructure projects to improve mobility of its people including goods and services to further improve its economic activities. Aside from railways which is the main mode transportation that solved traffic congestion, elevated expressway is also an alternative means to mobilize movements which create free traffic flow and provide fast and easy connection in sub-urban area within the cities, without traffic disruption in the ground. Today, we will feature the top 4 longest elevated expressway in major metropolitan area in Southeast Asia. Number 4. Sungai Besi Ulu Klang Elevated Expressway. Malaysia. The Sungai Besi Ulu Klang Elevated Expressway, code E19, is a 31.8 km controlled access highway with an estimated cost of 1.3 billion US dollar. Being constructed in Kuala Lumpur and Selangor, Malaysia. The expressway will run parallel to the existing Kuala Lumpur Middle Ring Road 2 between Sungai Besi and Ulu Klang, with the intent of reducing traffic along the road. The expressway begins in Ulu Klang Selangor in the north, then runs above Middle Ring Road 2 to Ampang. The expressway then diverts southeast through Pandan Inda, before turning back southwest through Cheras and Alam Damal. The expressway finally turns westwards to meet Middle Ring Road 2 again before terminating at Sungai Besi, where the road continues into the Shah Alam Expressway. This elevated highway is constructed as an alternative route for MRR2 providing an alternative solution and improving traffic congestion along the existing traffic linkages at Cheras, Pandan Inda and Ampang. It will connect the high-density areas of Klang Valley and it will promote economic growth and most importantly offer an effective traffic dispersal system. The elevated expressway is expected to reduce 30% of traffic congestion during peak hours on Middle Ring Road 2. Third, is the Sikampak Elevated Toll Road of Indonesia. The Jakarta Sikampak Elevated Toll Road is a 36.4 km long elevated expressway with an estimated cost of 1.15 billion US dollar. That extends from Sikanir Bekasi, to Karawang in West Java, Indonesia. Operated by PT Jasamarga Jalan Layang Sikampak, a subsidiary of PT Jasa Marga TVK with PT Rangi Subor and Perkasa as minority shareholder. It is the longest flyover in Indonesia, and the longest elevated double-decker expressways in Southeast Asia. The elevated toll road is designed to be for private vehicles only. It is built to ease traffic congestion within Greater Jakarta area as well as to reduce the burden on the existing Jakarta Sikampak toll road running above the Jakarta Sikampak toll road which is one of the most popular roads for those traveling out of town on weekends and in holiday seasons. The elevated toll road was opened last December 2019. Taking the second spot, is the Metro Manila Skyway in Philippines. Metro Manila Skyway, is an elevated highway serving as the main expressway in Metro Manila, Philippines. The Skyway stages 1, 2 and 3 including the extension has a total length of 41 km with total estimated cost of 1.5 billion US dollars. It connects the North Luzon Expressway N -Lex, and the South Luzon Expressway S -Lex, by going above the existing alignment of some major thoroughfares in Metro Manila. It stretches from the NLEX in the north to Alabang Zapo T Road in the south and crosses through the highly urbanized areas of Kalo Okan, Quezon City, Manila, Makati, Pasay, Tagui, Paranaque and Muntinlupa while relieving major thoroughfares from heavy traffic. The expressway is the first fully grade separated highway in the Philippines. 
It will be one of the longest flyovers in the world with a total length of approximately 41 kilometers when the extension project in Muntinlupa is completed. It provides access to Ninoy Aquino International Airport via Nangi Ya Expressway. With the soft opening of Skyway Stage 3 in 2020, the elevated expressway is now connected to the North Luzon Expressway in Kalo Ocon and will help cut the travel time between Metro Manila and Clark International Airport in Fapanga. The Phase 1 of the project was open on 1999, the Phase 2 was operational since 2010 and the Skywage Stage 3 was open on December 2020 and become fully operational on January 15, 2021. The project aims to decongest EDSA and other major roads in the metropolis by as much as 55,000 vehicles daily and aims to reduce travel time from Buendeya to Balintawak from 2 hours to just 15 to 20 minutes. Topping in the list is the Bangna Expressway of Thailand. Bang Na Expressway is a 55 km long six-lane elevated highway in Thailand, costing 1 billion US dollar. It is a toll road and runs above National Highway Route 34, Bang Na Trad Highway owned by the Expressway Authority of Thailand EXAT. The Bang Na Expressway was designed by the late Louis Berger and the project was built by a joint venture of Bilfinger plus Berger of Germany and C.H. Karnchang of Thailand. It took 1,800,000 cubic meters of concrete to build the bridge. The bridge was completed in January 2000. Bang Na Expressway held the title of the world's longest bridge from 2000 until 2008. Today, it is the seventh longest bridge in the world. This gigantic project provides an important link in the transportation system around Bangkok and is expected to play a major role in the commercial development of Southeast Thailand. The Bang Na Expressway is a box girder viaduct, an overpass-style bridge made of numerous small spans. Each deck span contains beams that are hollow box-shaped girders. The Expressway and Rapid Transit Authority of Thailand needed to make the structure quickly, in order to relieve intense traffic congestion in southern Bangkok metropolis. 